Hey everyone, Sean Frangella here with a new Cinema 4D video about how to import and integrate SketchUp 3D files into your Cinema 4D projects. It's a new feature for R17 that works pretty smoothly, so let's jump into Cinema 4D and I'll show you how it works. So here we are in R17, and if we want to import a SketchUp 3D model, we can just go to File Merge Objects over here, and I'll find this SketchUp model, which I have in my ever messy downloads folder. I'll open that up, and it's going to give me some quick options for if I want a physical sky, a camera added from the perspective that the model included, and if we want to skip objects or layers, and then I'll go to OK, and it's going to load, and look at this. We got this super sweet Ghostbusters Ecto-1 3D model that was designed in SketchUp, and it's as simple as that. Now we can go a little further if we want to take a look at this physical sky. We could grab that and change the default lighting and let's do a quick area render to see what's happening with this. And then we can jump into our camera if we want, which will be the camera that came with the model. And all our materials are grabbed down here and those will drop into a folder wherever you are working. So if there's any images, they're gonna drop into here, which in this case is my downloads and the rest are procedural materials in Cinema 4D. So this is great if you want to get a SketchUp model online or if someone started a project in SketchUp and you want to take it into Cinema 4D and really add all the nice render settings, lighting, and all the bells and whistles that you get with Cinema 4D, further refine our textures, add reflection layers, do all sorts of the stuff that Cinema 4D is really good for. Now importing SketchUp models pretty quickly and easily and allowing you to get right to work if you want to recreate your favorite movie and get a SketchUp model as a base. So there's a lot of new features in Cinema 4D R17 that are really great to work with too, like the take system, which is a really huge one, the new variation shader, Metal Ball updates, and lots of stuff. So if you want to learn more about other R17 updates, you can click those thumbnails. And if you have any questions you want to ask or new features you want to talk about, you can let me know on Twitter. I'm at Sean Frangella. You can hashtag those R17 or Ecto-1 if you want. And be sure to subscribe on youtube.com slash Sean Frangella for new videos on Cinema 40, After Effects, and all sorts of motion graphics and Ghostbusters jokes. Thanks for watching, and I will see you at the next video. Do you like watching these tutorials and want to see more episodes more often? You can help keep the show going by lending your support on Patreon at patreon.com slash seanfrangella. More importantly, if you want to throw in a couple extra bucks, you can get bonus content like project files used in the tutorials, answers to direct questions, live hangouts for questions, and even request specific tutorial topics for me to use for my next video. Also be sure to subscribe to the show by clicking the subscribe button or visiting the show homepage at youtube.com slash seanfrangella. And if you're hip with social media and have a question about this tutorial, you can find me on Twitter at seanfrangella. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you at the next video.